like to call the meeting to order at 6 30. Uh, addition to the agenda. What do we have? There's one it's cybersecurity training subscription, fully paid for by the LCT. Should be a rather quick discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are fully reimbursed by the LCT. Okay. Review of minutes, October 16th. They look good. I have a question. Oh, you do? I do. Okay. Um, On the minutes? Yes, on okay. the minutes of the 16th. Yes. If you go to the end where it says the select board discussed in the second sentence, it said it was discussed that the motion made by Mr. Etnar was mm -hmm. now, was that on something previously? Is why that was at the previous meeting. Yeah. Okay. So should it say yeah, that? I, meeting? Yes, it should be noted because you're not, you yeah, are yeah. not listed. Yeah. Okay. You were not meeting. at the meeting. At so, this meeting. At, at the meeting right. of the, hey, come on, mm -hmm. at the meeting of the 16th. Right. Which I, I knew that that's what it was, but mm -hmm. it was. So we, we should insert on that from yeah. a, from the previous meeting or whatever it was. The motion was not made at the. the exactly. The yeah. motion was not made at this meeting. Exactly. Okay. Is that okay? I got it. All right. Perfect. All right. Yeah. I read the, I read the minutes. Yeah. Stop <laughs> talking because you're making things lag, lag out and you submitted a request. Right. That we get through the meeting quickly. Well, okay. no. Shut up. Continue. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So the minute looks I'd like okay. to make I'd make like to make a motion to accept the minutes. As amended. As amended. Second. Any further yeah, discussion? Nine. Nine. Uh, no German, please, because mm -hmm. we both have to understand. Now that on the recording. Especially the, the, especially the Deutsch. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 The aye appear to have it, they do have it. Okay. So the minutes are done. Public comment. Nothing. Nada? Nada. <laughs> si, si, senor. Um, the next item on our agenda. We are slightly ahead of schedule. Are we expecting more people for this item? I think we're here. Well, I see some people here, but I don't know if maybe there's be more, but uh, we'll start the item. Um, consideration of resident request to discontinue town right away on property. I assume that these people are the residents. The vegans? Yeah. Okay. Would you care to introduce yourself for the record? Sure. I'm Carrie Ann Black Deegan. And I'm Ed Vegan. No, I know what we're going to sign in. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't all have to introduce yourself. <laughs> okay. So, Wheeler Road. Yeah. Is the road in question? Does everyone know where that is? No. Oh, John. Yeah. Uh, you don't do much back road. <laughs> I, I bike many of these roads actually. Oh, okay. Well, you won't bike on this one on this one. No, 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 no. This one isn't accessible. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you have the floor. Well, we do have a map. We have a map. We have a couple, one and three ones there. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're requesting that the town get off the right away that it has on the, uh, on the property. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's about as simple as it can get, I guess. Hasn't been used in 50 years. I think at least we've yeah. owned it for 37 Sorry. years. It's all grown up. There's no accessibility. Yeah. It was the old Wheeler Road, but the development on the Wheeler Road side, I think it was Bauman. Yeah. Well, and um and who else? No, well, uh, Bauman uh, the road. Anyhow, they closed it off, and then there was a beaver dam, and now there's quite a big pond. So, I mean, it just doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, it's not, yeah. it's not really a trail or a road. Yeah, right. The map that you have one is a satellite for the purpose of kind of showing that the yeah. area is overgrown where yeah. the right of way is. Yeah, I pay the land and use five. There's no way you can walk down it. Yeah. The other thing is that we would just, what I noticed was looking at the state DIS, which is what this is off of, is that Wheeler Road originally followed the utility lines down and met up. When Bowen developed, I don't know if this was about 40 years ago, 
but uh, about that, because I looked at that, that property with Cliff before he developed it. The, the actual road right away bends, so the town changed the right away from the other side, and it looks like it was given up for where they took the bend in the road down to the corner of our property. There's no right away. So there's really no way to access it without yeah. um, trespassing on our property, Ruth Clark's property, or Seth's property, yeah. possibly kitchen, the new, maybe their property, but like it's not accessible yeah. unless you trespass to get there. And then you know, what would you do? Skip a couple of feet and yeah. say, I did the trail, like, yeah. and then you don't go anywhere. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just. Oh, no, we got some questions, Bob. The, uh, you may have just you may have just answered my question by your last remarks, but why are you asking for us to relinquish the town? There's a couple of a couple of reasons. One is I'm doing a corrective deed on this property that uh, that came up when you put the water pump in on the bottom. I own a piece of property below below the loans mm -hmm. that got somehow wasn't written into the deed properly. So I've got to hire an attorney to, to correct the deed. It's, it was Marion's property. This was all Marion's property. It sort of came to light. Eventually, we're going to maybe build a retirement home back here. Um, and, you know, but it, this came to light this year because there was somebody put a hunting stand in the middle of your, the, the right of pit, which is just a crazy nasty. situation. You can't get to it anyway. And it was noted that while well, he could walk up the trail, uh, the game warden came doing? out and I showed him where the trail begins and I said, good luck with that. It basically drops off about five feet into about four or five feet of water and bark rush as is the beginning of that trail all the way up to the backside of it. So he had a, you know, cross the property. So that came up now. But between trying to develop it, the drainage on this property, this lot is not good. And I'd like to be able to deal with, you know, maybe fixing the drainage and stuff as we go without having to worry about the easement. But to answer your question, the main thing was that we had a problem recently that we've never had in yeah. 37 years, which was somebody trying to put a deer stand on the property and claiming that it was an easement. Which then, you know, we had to get the game warden involved because it's a road and you can't shoot from a road. And it was a big, <laughs> big hassle. Then the property owners that, you know, sort of all had to kind of agree to let him trespass to get his stand off because, again, the trail itself isn't accessible. No. So that's kind of what brought it out. But we'd rather just do one deed fix rather than multiple. I have another question, but it's a generic question that I'd like to ask afterwards if, after, okay, if sure. there's any Carl, personal question. I think it's probably about the ancient roads thing. So <laughs> the, the town rights of way are assets to the town. And according to state statute, we are not allowed to give them up unless public good, necessity, and convenience of the inhabitants of the municipality require that the highway bridge, highway and bridge or trail be discontinued. Or the so, owner, or the property. So th I'm reading from the statute here. So what what arguments can, can you make to us that the public good necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the municipality would require this? Well, as I said, it's inaccessible. So it's not like we're taking away like Mallory Brook where people walk every day. Nobody has walked here in 37 years that we've owned it. You can't walk there because it's inaccessible without trespassing. So I don't really feel so, like we're taking away anybody's so, anything. So Carl, if somebody's familiar a little bit with our assets uh, in depth, <laughs> we have millions of dollars of sidewalks and assets that we're not taking care of or you know, we are now planning for it. Uh, show me where this is on the balance sheet, because I don't think you have it. And like I said, I'd be glad to buy it back for whatever the town paid, I believe, Mr. Martin back in the 1800s, but, which is nothing. So if, yeah, you're, you're saying that as a town yeah. asset, is an asset value for the town is zero. But wait a minute, we're, you know. we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Because to go through the process, yeah. all we have to do <clears> is 
reach out to our lawyer, and there is a process you have to go through yeah, the yeah. public hearing, and you have to let us say it's a long yeah. process, which is fine. Yeah, yeah. we have to we have to spend money to do it, and then it would involve giving up an asset that the town could well, buy in the future. Whether it's a asset or not is a question. Yeah. But it, it's it's not an asset, but the public good is is uh, like I said. The, the, we got problems with agricultural things on that corner a lot. Uh, and stuff <laughs> can uh, contest to there is sort of standing water that wasn't there 20 years ago. Um, obviously, this summer has been the worst, but it's been an ongoing problem. And it's actually that trail is where part of where it comes through. Uh, it could be fixed or adjudicated, which would improve the agricultural value. Yeah, okay. okay. I, I didn't understand what you said just now. Oh, wait a minute. Let's John has something. Well, well, I, 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 like, okay. I'd like okay. to hear what, what Ed just oh, said. Okay. Yeah. So, what we, are you talking we're, about? I'd like to be able to fix the land. For the agricultural value of that land is going down. Okay. Which is an asset to the town that have mm -hmm. agricultural land as yep. part of what our mission is. We can't fix it with, with the, you know, the easement. I'm not willing to put money in. And it's also just, I can't do it. I mean, it's going through the, the, the town easement. So the drainage on that property is it's getting gutted. It's standing water from one side to the other that wasn't there. Uh, you know, Seth knows the property well for many years. So okay, I just you know there, there, there's, you there's some public come property. out and look. Mm -hmm. yeah. Obviously, yeah. that next step. Well, that's part of it. Yeah. 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 Oh, what okay. was your question? Yeah. I had I had a couple. Sure. Um, what so class is this road? Four. Well, it was it in class, class four, four, but it sort yeah. of closed. Like I said, well, there's no access to it because the other side, it was a road that literally went through to Wheeler Road. Can you, like on this map, I'm I can sorry. see I can see Wheeler Road. Um, is, you, is it way down by that line? line? Yeah. Dotted line. That yeah. Goes from John, if you flip to the back of that too, you yeah. can kind of see the tree line. Yeah. That's what we're talking yeah. about. But it goes from this point here to this point here. Or does it go further? Well, it goes all the way, way, all all the way over to Wheeler Road, the other yeah. end by. by well, who's at the one that? Caller, the other All right, so where? Yeah, what, what, from here to well, Paul. Yeah. I think there's a um, Aviva pond. From there, yeah. 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 So this is this is a better view of it. Here's Wheeler Road. This is the class four section. Okay, yeah, yeah. it goes up. This is my property, both sides of this. Yeah. Like it thing. hits here. This looks like it, the Wheeler Road easement still comes down, but when I looked at this map, this section, uh, they have it highlighted. You see it's white, white, white going up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and when you look at the, it, it comes down the other way on a bigger map and bends in and, and comes up. The easement was changed. That's class three now, I believe. So it's so so class three to uh, Pollux. To so Pollux, yeah. Right. You know where that comes down? By you three, too? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The yeah. other angel. This, yeah. Is oh, okay. this is Pollock's property. All right, property. now I understand where we're going. Yeah, yeah this is Pollock's property here. This so the same road way. ends here. We got the storage trailers. Yep. This goes around over to here, in, on Wheeler Road over here. Mm -hmm. The storage trailers were here. And then the school up got three lots, like, right here somewhere. Okay. Yeah. And Mar Mar Marion's property, Mar Marion's property, this was Marion's also. This is, this was all... This line here went over to here. The kitchens, which was Sapricon, so it was all this was a night pasture. And this is where the property ends for me. So we're looking at this strip. Mm -hmm. Most of it we own both sides. Oh, yeah. okay. And many, many years ago, it did go through to Wheeler Road. So you could go <laughs> Wheeler Road to Codling Road and get down to Route 2. So when we first bought the property 37 years ago, if you, you know, when it had the old GPS, it would tell people to go up and go down Wheeler Road, except there was nowhere to go. Because right. before we bought, it was closed off and developed. Yeah. So it isn't a road now, at least yeah. through. Yeah. Yeah, what impact does this have on others on that road? There is there's really no road. road. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm, what I'm saying, no, but on the right of way, because there's always impacts when you if you eliminate a right of way that may not be used, but could be used in the future. How does that impact the people, of other property owners that are there? It so does because we because it, one turns and then where you guys the end of your property there. Where we're that part of it. Off of Codling, we own both sides of that. Right. And then it goes by a little ways. And then, then the other road, wheel of road comes in on that end, but bears off into yeah. class three. Yeah. No, yeah, it's, it's well, it ends. It ends. It's done the other end. Fine. 
U32, whatever. That road ends there. Yeah. And then okay. from there, it goes through the woods, around a beaver pond, or through a beaver pond that's all flooded right. over to here. So the town, when the town owns a class four road, it's required to, uh, the only maintenance is required to perform on that is to take care of bridges and culverts or hydraulics. Right. Um, but see, so this is nothing. That's what we're trying to think. That's right, why, because the town's not doing anything. Yeah, yeah. it's nothing like this. It, so there's some liability. It's not yeah. a road, and it's not a, a thing. There is a liability, especially when you have somebody putting a, a hunting stand on the property. Well, aside, <laughs> aside from that, there are, there are requirements, but I'll tell you the truth. Most towns have roads where they don't do any type of maintenance like this, but they are technically required to do that. And some property owner can ask the town to do that. Okay, well, so, if, you're, if you're accessing to it. But you right. should come yeah. out, when you're going to enter, yeah, but yeah, when yeah. you come out and look, you'll see what I'm trying to say, that yeah. there is no road. Right. But you'll have to go on our property or Ruth Clark's property for us to even show you. You will not be able to walk the trails. So there's no impact on no neighbors, impact. no negative impact on neighbors. No. Um, it's, it's listed as, a, as an asset for the town because one reason it would be is because the town gets a little bit of money for class four roads from the highway fund. I don't think so. Yeah, you do. Okay. Okay. This isn't, I think this everyone wrote a road. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, since well, anyway. it's not a class four road anymore, it was a class four road, but now it, I think it's just a trail. It can't be a class, it can't be changed. The class cannot be changed just because they're not using it. It's a class four road and it wasn't ever turned into a legal trail. It would either remain a class four road or if it was upgraded okay. to a class three road. Yeah. So it's, if it's a class four road, it stays a class four road. But I'm not arguing, I'm just kind of clarifying. No, that's interesting. I you know, it's still, I think you're right, the class four road, but I don't know, what, do we get money for class four roads? I'm not sure. I don't you don't, do you do don't get much I because they're only open a couple, they're only open, they're not open all four seasons. Yeah. Yeah. Class yeah, four I'm not sure what we get. You get, you get more money from, from me than you do from them. Like right. I know that we get yeah. money from us. And, and um, the, so the town plan says that um, the Class four roads are not maintained by the town and no state funding is provided. Well, I don't care what the town plan says. I do know no. that the state you, it's a requirement if you look in the statutes that they maintain the drainage and the, and bridges. Yeah, well, well they if, still, if they're doing it, yeah, you could reimburse if you do anything. They haven't done any of that. Well, well you're supposed they, to ask the yeah, town. Since when, so, yeah. When we have a class four road on my part. Right. And we, we have taken care of the hydraulics water on that road, but we are supposed to talk to the town and they are responsible for putting culverts etc right and, and any roads. town any town road but they don't have to go there on their own volition any they, well any town any town road road the, the select board has control over any town road and no one can work on a town road of any town road without approval of the select board because right. you're taking on now that liability of those people doing work on that road so that's why you ask but they do technically have to fix issues with the road if you ask them to. Yes. But most people don't ask them to because they don't like people driving on those roads at the beginning in the first Okay, but anyway. But we do have houses on class four roads where people do and you know, I Yeah, know. I agree. I totally agree with you. You can but ask people never say anything to the town about creating that road. I mean I know that. They what? They never say anything to the town about the maintenance that they do on the road. Some don't, some do. Yeah. Depends on the town yeah. you're in. Well there's quite a few class four roads in the town. Right. That are so driveway really for people. And, they, yeah, they, drive and they and they maintain those class four roads. Right. And they do it on their own. Yes. Okay. Yes. So some history. The town put together an ancient roads committee back 20 years ago or so mm -hmm. to take a look at the ancient roads, the rights of way mm -hmm. that uh were not being used anymore and chart where they were and to recommend whether they be given up altogether or be turned into trails, for example. And I have been trying to find the report from that committee or even who was on it besides Bruce Johnson, who chaired it. And so far, I haven't found anybody who was on it. I have not found the report, well, but the town owner. plan does. Do you know who was on it or where the no, report? The owner was dealing with things back then. And no, you know, he was on the trail committee. No, no, I, I actually read the report. Yeah. We do have. It. Yeah, I'm sure we have. Lynn Blackwell have, was on if it. You, yeah. Pardon? I looked into Lynn it. Blackwell was on it? I think so. And there was a few other people on it. We do have a report. Yeah, but what we, happened is they made recommendations to give up a certain road, which we did. And well, I'm not sure we did. Yes, uh, we did. The town, I, I visited the roads. The Bruce town's Johnson's driveway was one. 
the town plan then is wrong because the town plan, uh, or at least it's incomplete. It says that um, there were two corridors that were given further study and the committee recommended that the select board did a mass discontinuance of all possible town roads that were not identified on the official Vermont Agency of Transportation highway map for the town. And it doesn't say that actually happened. Can and, I tell you what will happen if you didn't do that? And um, and I talked to Edie Miller, who was on the select board at the time, and she said that the select board decided not to do that mass discontinuance because they could be valuable in the future, maybe not 10 years, maybe not 20 years in the future, but you might want to use them for further development or a town trail. But the they future. had to be on a list. So that's, that's the... That's the so somewhat written, somewhat oral history that I have. And I think if we're going to consider this at all, that we need to understand the way that the town has thought about it in recent history and address what they said. You also need to find out if that road was ever put on a list for the state highway department. Because if it wasn't, it's in, 2000, oh. in, in, in 2015, there was a final notice given by right. the Department of Transportation that said, if you do not have your road on this list, any road that existed will disappear. Mm -hmm. So if it's so, not a road now, then it's not a right way. Right. That's okay. what I'm telling you. Yeah, then we can't we, discontinue it. We don't have to. Yeah. That's about it. So anyway, somebody needs to find that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Just a quick question. Yeah. Is is there any precedent for um taking or, or relinquishing right of ways? Is there a record of us ever doing that? Yes, we did. I'm okay. trying to say that. Tell Let us. me speak for a second. No. We, <laughs> in 2015, the, the state said, if you want to give up certain roads, this is your time to do it. Mm -hmm. And we went around and visited places, several class four roads. Bruce Johnson's driveway was one. There was a few others, and we gave them up. That was a window that the state provided for us mm -hmm. to give up the ancient roads, or it was ancient roads, or whatever. So this road was not brought up at that point. It may, it may be gone then. I'm afraid it's on a state map. If it's on a state map, it won't be gone. Is but it if it's not on a state map. GIS, I think. So it's, which yeah. is a safe way. Yeah, there is a real green road. Like we have the Pollock slip. Yeah. yeah. And know. then there's the old. Right. So. Nobody the, differentiated between I mean, what they were. It's definitely a Wheeler Road. It's just not well, an accessible it. Wheeler yeah. Road. Yes. Well, there's a Wheeler Road of the Class 3 road. Right. On the road state road map, road. if you look at an existing state map right now, yeah. is there a Wheeler Road that goes all the way through? No, actually, I think like, the GIS, if you look no. at it, comes down and bends where the, where the road used to end, the yeah. original Wheeler Road, up into the loop that uh, Bauman put in. It ends there and then it picks up back down on the corner of my property going back down. Oh, it's on state map. So it is, yeah, my section ends. It, it was yeah. on the state map. It's just still going right. way up. It's That's up. The, the other one isn't road anymore, but, the other yeah. side. Well, so it, it doesn't go anywhere. To, to get back yes. to Paul's situation here, which is that this is a, a town asset, I'm looking at it from the capital asset plan here. This is a town liability. <laughs> you know, you keep this open. Someone is going to, you know, go on that property and get hurt, and the town's going to be in trouble. Well, the thing is, if there is a process, if we want to yeah. agree to give it up, yeah, I just don't think it's an asset. I think right, it's a liability. The process we have to go through would be a hearing. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. It, it, first it, of all, it, we it have is an asset. Yeah, whatever. But we still have to, if we're going to do this, we have to agree to do it and say to our lawyer. And you look at what we have to do. Mm -hmm. That's that's what our role is right now. Yeah, yeah. So, so question then is: Should we ask? Should we take on the expense of asking our lawyer to say what do we have to do, or should we say you want us to gift this right away to you? Uh, could you talk to a lawyer, pay a lawyer to come to us with a plan? No, we have to do forward. our town lawyer. Yeah, we've got to do our town lawyer, which is powerful. I mean, we will eventually, but do yeah. we ask him to do the? Initial work, or do we ask him to respond to a proposal from somebody? No, I think done... the initial work is what we have to do. We we've got to do it that's a legal way of doing it. I I did right. Oh, you sent something from VLCT. Yeah, that's yeah. It. Right. And and that's why I read. Then the first paragraph is you need to reach out to your town. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's yeah. Right. But do we do we ask our town attorney to do all the work, or do we ask them to start the ball rolling? 
get their attorney to send us a letter. Well, that I think it's a time of attorney. No sense. From what, what do you want to take his letter? Wait, Wait, it's not. Um, it looks like on the map, if you wrote it, and it's just if this is the right road, it's a legal trail. It's been changed to a trail. Okay, now what, what are you looking at, John? Not a class four road. Yeah. That's what I think that, that is true. Yeah. It's, it's a legal trail. Somehow in this whole thing, the ancient yeah. roads yeah. situation that occurred, um, yeah. it was changed to a legal trail all yeah. across your property. Yes. Yeah. And then it goes back to I would say it probably goes to a class three road where it's where, right. where it's wheeler road. And, and and that's number that's road is number 56. Um and then where it bears off is it goes down cot is a coddling road yeah. or whatever. Yeah. It um it's number 54 there. That's a that's a class three road. Yeah. So um, it that whole section is a legal trail, so yeah. it's, it'd have a 10 foot right away, yeah. um, a 10 foot travel portion, it would still maintain its normal right away. So, what happens when you do give up a road like that? You don't really give them the right of the easement or the right of way, you essentially the right all the land that goes to the center of the road on each side of the road goes back to the property owners automatically. It's not anything the town's gifts. And once that road is not a legal road anymore. It goes back to the to the property. The property line. line goes to the middle of the road. Right. And there's no and if not, I don't think there's a huge amount of legality involved in that, except if you just follow the statutes and, and if you decide if the town decides to do that, they just make the decision to do it. They visit, they have a they have a they have a public hearing to make sure that everybody who's aware of the road um or is impacted by the road has a has a say. Right. And then the town says, Well, okay, so the process the LPT lays out the process. The, the state first part of the yeah. process. Is to contact our town attorney. Right, and I I think it's a great idea. Yeah, and they, and and all we have to do is look at this right here. You're going to see that that's a legal trail. All we have to agree to, legal but trail still, it, it, I mean, to get the ball rolling. Exactly. We yeah. then have a hearing, and all this stuff comes up. Yep. But okay. first, we have to agree to talk to the town attorney. Yeah. So we can't vote on it tonight, but we would no, have no, to. They know that. Oh yeah, yeah, we yeah. yeah. They're so going to be to our yeah. 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 and, and asking if that if, if we yeah. can start the process. Because yep. it's a process. Yeah, we're not making a decision. What, the decision that we're going to make is to talk to a town attorney if that's agreeable to everything. Now, Carl has other ideas. I think we should talk to a town attorney. What does everyone else think? Oh, just to clarify, I think we should talk to the town attorney too. I think we should do it after we get a formal letter from their attorney saying this is exactly what we're asking for. But it doesn't make already, any sense. We already sent to the We already sent to the I, I, I um four minutes on this. I'm I'm in agreeing with I agree with you, Seth, that I want um I want an opinion or an investigation by our attorney rather than a biased attorney on the plaintiff's side. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Even though I'd rather not bear the expense, I, I don't want this a biased opinion or investigation. Yeah. As, and what the attorney will tell us is the process. And I don't think we're talking about tens of thousands. No, uh, I'm being facetious. Two hundred. I'm being oh. facetious. Oh, okay. As as I no, know. that's okay. <laughs> and one more thing: is a legal trail. The town's not required to do any maintenance on whatsoever, so it's no longer. Right. Really, well, I think, how about the water? I, I maybe with a new with a new permit, the the the. Uh, oh yeah. Contiguous roads and right. river and all that stuff. Yeah. There might be an issue with that, but I don't know for sure if there is i i think that they're still obligated to um if you ask well you need to ask I, I have a legal trail issue on, on my property and there is some water issues there okay. i'm gonna look into that and i have a landowner now that's willing to pay to put the culverts in and i can do some work but i know that that could be a town responsibility well, let's see, let's, let's see what happens yeah. can yeah. go on that's, that's, one of the, that's one of the several problems yeah, yeah. The, the water's a problem, the, the, yeah. the liability is a problem. And I'm That's right. I'd, I'd like to make place. a motion to um, contact our lawyer and to investigate what our options and or and we, legal ease is. Would our town administrator be willing to do that? I can okay. send him. I mean, it's going to require more information and likely from those of you that yeah. know the history. Yeah, so and, and he and all the attorney's gonna do is just lay out the same thing the statutes lay out. It's pretty clear on the statutes what you have to do. Yeah. Okay, so Scott made a motion. Do we have a so I, I, I want to hear the motion again for the minutes. Um to make a motion to contact our lawyer to investigate the potential for um East Montpelier to um 
relinquish yeah. our right of way. Consider relinquishing. Consider relinquishing our um, right of way on Wheeler Road. Thank you very much. The um, portion is a legal trail. Yeah. That's my motion. Just a clarifying yeah. question. Sorry? Yes. Um, so part of the process would be having a public hearing for the benefits. If it of is, um, I read the stuff that Gina sent out from BLCT right. and one right. of the things they yeah. do requires a public hearing. And a visit to the site. Yep. And not a vacation. Yeah. 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 Yep. So okay. we do have a motion. We do not have a second for that. I'll awesome. second. We have a second. Any further All discussion? Right. Any further discussion? Yeah, so I would like to have the questions posed about the um, any liabilities that we have associated with owning legal trail. With the town attorney. May I ask Mr. Thompson speaking about liability? Has the hunting stands is is that activity has that ceased at that this point? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so the warden <laughs> the site, and he um, told the person that had the hunting stand there to take it down. Okay. That, I just wanted to. Yeah, that was the concern that I had with liability yeah. for yeah. for that yeah. as well. Yeah. So okay. So is there any further discussion on the motion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have the two hands. Okay. Thank you. thank you for coming in. Okay. Appreciate it. You. Yeah. Um. So the next item on the agenda. Is consideration of the disbursement of Carlton C. Smith funds to Four Corners Schoolhouse. Given this, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. All right. Mm -hmm. So, so the Carlton Smith would they be? Oh, that's just the interest, isn't it? Or yeah. is that it's the, the interest? Yeah. 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 It's that not sounds a lot of good. Money. Yeah. Yeah. But every little bit helps. Yeah. Every little bit helps. Yeah. Sure. Sounds like a good plan. Okay. So, so we have previously supported $30,000 from ARPA funding to match the state yep. grant for this project. And uh, I asked uh, Hobie if he could give us a little bit of an overview of uh, how much the total cost is expected to be for the project, why that $60,000 is not sufficient, why they need the, the extra money. Here, I understand it's it's well supported by the town in the past. The other groups that have claim to the Carlton Smith uh, money have said, give it to Four Corners Schoolhouse. And for the sake of uh, making having a complete base of information for making a decision, I want to hear publicly what the money is going to be used for. It's okay. And yeah, we, we can't hear you, Hobie. But we see your lips moving. You're <laughs> muted. <laughs> He's working on it. Uh, we still can't hear you. How's now? Yep, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with my uh, computer illiteracy. Um, we uh, when when we came to you last, and you, you generously offered to match the grant we were proposing to the Vermont Arts Council. The grant, uh, the most we could ask for from the uh, Vermont Arts Council was uh, thirty thousand uh, dollars. In order to present kind of a uh, as simple a request as I could make it, I I, I broke out our total project into kind of I call it phase A and phase B, although they will be going on pretty much simultaneously. Um, phase A though came down uh, came with a price tag of a sixty four thousand dollars, and so that's where I was able to. Um, it just simplified things when I asked for thirty thousand from, uh, well, from both the town and, and the Vermont Arts Council. Phase B is a bunch of little miscellaneous items that were still deemed relevant and and preferred treatment for the for the job. Um, and as I told Carl earlier this afternoon, uh, this includes replacing the closet doors on the closets that line the north end of the building with ventilated or rather louvered doors for ventilation purposes. It uh, involves getting humidity sensors that will automatically record the data and also alert people um, if things are not working properly. Uh, it includes the um, 
price tag to to Washington Electric for a new transformer, um, since we're having to upgrade our electrical uh, panel. And it also includes just in, uh, my original budget included roughly $1,660 of in-kind work that I hope, uh, you know, the, the Four Corner School Board um, can contribute in kind labor. If not, um, we'll have to hire out for for that work. So that's also included in in for an ultimate price tag of just over seventy thousand dollars. So we have the sixty thousand dollars from, um, of course, the town and the Vermont Arts Council. We have now a GoFundMe um, campaign online, as well as um, some you know donation jars around town. The um, GoFundMe has so far gathered us about um, 3,600. Um, and so we're, we're looking to also get, obviously, the, the funds from the Carlton Smith Fund, knowing that we nobody's really tapped into it for the last 10 years. Um, and thankfully, yeah, the other two parties who have access to these funds have generously and quickly, happily, donated their share to, to our cause. Okay, uh, Rachel. Yes, I just wanted to add something to what Hobie said when he talked about, um, when he mentioned that we're hoping that the schoolhouse board can do some in-kind donations. And I don't know that the town is aware of how much um, the board has um, contributed in kind to keeping the schoolhouse um, running and keeping it um, mechanically and everything, you know, just painting. Um, there have been hours and hours donated by people who understand that stuff. I'm not one of them. I provide cookies and that makes everybody happy. Um, <laughs> but Hobie and um and other and Chris and Benedict and before them Conrad and Peter and you know the list goes on and on. They have donated hours and hours of labor and equipment to the school board, and I'm really happy for this opportunity to just get it on the record. Very kind. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Thanks for the report. That, yes, Scott. I'd like to make a motion to give the or allow that the $2,897.12 go to the- You're gonna floor. authorize the treasurer to release it to them? Authorize the treasurer. I was just gonna round it, 2,097 even. I, I think the mo we've talked about this before. It's it's good not to have numbers like this in, in the motion in okay. case the numbers reported to us are in yeah. error. So not, the, the interest that. from the Carlton Smith Memorial Fund CD- Round it to the nearest penny. To the nearest, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Great. We have a second? Sure. Carl seconds it. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. Okay. So the next thing we have is Enjoy. September. Our pleasure. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you. Thanks for thank your you work. Uh, work. Bring back yeah. some more again. Thank you all. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, so I believe that the adjective you used, I just came to my mind, was vanilla. Vanilla, yes. <laughs> well, this is like this is it's it's being elevated a little bit. This <laughs> okay. is a lot more interesting. It's, this yeah. is um, it's like Ray. Okay. Vanilla. This is vanilla ripping. <laughs> okay, it's a little more flavorful. <laughs> gotcha. It was vanilla. Yes. Yes, very good. vanilla. Very good. Um, so <laughs> the next item on the agenda is a September thirtieth, twenty twenty three, monthly financial reporting package. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Michelle, how much do we have roughly invested in higher interest CDs? One million. One million, yes. and, yeah. and we're going to work on... We Yeah, so it's kind of going like this right now. I yeah, no, 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 I understand. It's the cash flow, which is yeah. what you're... Yeah. But the the estimated income is like $54,000. So. What, what is the... um? What are they invested in? CDs at this point. Well, three oh, CDs just CDs? And money, well, it's a money market, too. So oh. Vanguard... And then three CDs, once three months, six months, and nine months. And those are CDs? 
CDs, which through they, Infinex, yeah. Yeah, CDs are almost the same thing as T bills in interest rate. I mean, and they're investing them less than two hundred fifty thousand, so they're federally insured. But the okay. rates are like five point four, five point five, which is which 5. is comparable 6. to T bills. But, but normal CDs that you get at the bank right now in Panama, these are like a yes, you different. can if you look oh, yeah. for them, you can yeah. get it. Oh, okay. absolutely. All right. Yeah. So shop around. But, but the, the, the work, I'm sorry, but we're also talking about not ten thousand or twenty thousand. Yeah. You have a lot right. more clout. Exactly. Yeah. Can the same account holder have multiple accounts less than two hundred fifty thousand dollars at the same institution that are all insured up to two hundred fifty thousand by FDIC? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, if all these, they're if all these separate. C these yeah. CDs separate. are not. Those. This is not a CD. This is not four CDs with TD Bank. They're they're spread out. Well, they're invested. So one's a Citibank. Uh -huh. investment ones um orange bank the okay so a different yes, yeah. yeah oh i see they sorry have to be separate yes to got it. yes okay sorry. oh they have to be separate yeah okay. if you have 10 million dollars you can't buy all cds from one bank only one of them will be insured sure. okay okay so that's why they're all okay so the other thing i was going to ask you you said something interesting for the last meeting we're talking about it is you don't pay federal income tax on the t bills t bills that's something different well, we don't pay tax. We're a nonprofit, so we don't pay taxes. No, no, but an individual, yes, would not pay federal tax or no, no. state income tax. Correct on T bills, T bonds, or T notes. Okay, either one, e either the three. Short, medium, short, medium, or long term. If you buy a T bill, that will be a hundred percent Vermont tax free. Okay, all right. So you are getting it. You can decide. No, but it doesn't matter for me. Silly not to if you are in a high enough tax bracket. You know, I'd be I buy T bills, but anyway. <laughs> but yes, it is it is advantageous in a high tax state like Vermont. Yeah, correct. right. And right. they are. And this is a little off. Topic. Answer your question. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So bringing back to the wherever we were, where were we? Michelle's <laughs> treasurer's report. report. Yeah. Treasurer's report. No, no, not the report. Our fine treasurer. Yeah. Who's managing our okay? So monthly financial reporting package, what we're supposed to be talking about. Yeah, I'm not talking about the you know, okay. So what, what are we talking about here? 21 pages. Was, what's that? 21 pages, East Montpelier account, September 30th. Okay, very good. Yeah. Lots of numbers. <laughs> okay. So well, is there anything that we without reading through the whole thing, is there something we're supposed to be looking at? Is it something any that jumps scary, out at anybody? Any scary in there? Yeah. Well, I mean, just so you guys know, like the M&T accounts on here, they're closed out. Yep. Um, I added like the other NSB account that we had 168,000. That one's been closed and that money was moved into our regular main checking account. Consolidated. Yes, consolidated. Sorry. Um, and then we added the three CDs. Yeah. So now we have six CDs total. Which you can see at the bottom of page one. I yep. see that. Yep. And then the money market's up there. So pretty basic. They're all doing pretty well. So the CDs there, the Charleston Smith Cemetery CD, those are still in. They are, and we're going to move them. Okay. They're just there That's on the plate. Maturity hasn't come up. Right. Yeah. Right. Some of them have. Well, well they yeah. did, and then they went by. Yeah. So now we're kind of waiting 14, again for 17, them to come 18, back up again. Do that. Except it, it may be. Behoove, they behoove us to take the penalty and just pull the money out. Correct. If you don't wait, yeah. Well, I mean, you, if you guys it, want to do that, we can do that. It, depending on financially, you would you would never be penalized the principal. It's it depends on what the hit would be to the potential interest. Well, there isn't much. And what what do they penalize you when you take it out? And it depends. It banks are different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it, it depends. And it depends on the customer too. Uh, it's yeah. already, sometimes it's, they do, sometimes they don't. They might. Wait. Well, we'd probably be taking yeah. them out of North Country and right. moving so them that's to not, Infinex not with NSC favors. Right. So, right. <laughs> that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, they're not going to be. Right. I mean, she did. When I called her the other day, she we were talking about removing the twenty eight ninety seven, the twenty eight hundred dollars, and she's like, you know, you could probably get better rates if we put these in something else. And I said, I realize that, but. I'm thinking that we want to move them out of there well, into Michelle, you'll you'll figure out the numbers. I mean, if it pays to liquidate yeah. it and yeah. take a small hit to right to renew it at five and a half percent, you'll do it. And if it doesn't, mm -hmm. this is the decision you'll make. Well, it's something she can look into. Yeah, right. sounds good. But it's on my plate. So good. So okay, you know. thank you. Sounds good. 
Okay, so going through the multi-page document that you pre presented us with, we don't have time to read the whole thing. That's fine. So is there something you could draw our attention to that? No, I just wanted flag? to point out the bank accounts. No, no, that's fine. Sure, that's everything but how about there. all these other pages? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is there, I mean, is there something that should be liquidated? Like, it's very small, but the rally day fund. Yeah, I wondered about that because we don't do that. That anymore. were if you look, we've talked about this doing came away up with that. the audit last year. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. questioning the how much is in there because we're still allocating interest. There's six hundred eighty-two dollars and eighty-two cents. Right, we talked yeah. about that before. It's like a few years yeah, we've ago. We've earned a dollar seventy-three. Yeah. We should just do away with that. Unless you're going to well, put it in the general fund. Put it, put yeah. it into your reserve account. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, we already have a huge. Just, I mean, just to clean things account out there. Yeah. Right we could always allocate something to a future rally day fund if people will come back and say we want to do that. Well, yeah, but that would be a request that somebody would make. Exactly. And that's not a problem. Yeah. But... It's stuff like the Sandy Pines. It's over half a million dollars. Is Sandy Pines is the one we talked about. That's right? done. That's, that's all done. done. That's all. Gone. Yeah. That's downstreet now. Yeah. Oh right, right, right. And, right. Yeah, next month that's zero. Of course. Yeah, yeah. cleaning some of the stuff would be helpful because just having these yeah small things on right. the list just a, is work for the treasurer right. for three months. That's to pay interest to them. So yeah, yeah. It, it's and for an audit. It, it's a waste it, of time. Anything else besides rally day? Jump you want out to look at, you? at some of those funds and maybe let I us can. know. I yeah, I can look at them more. And sure. how I know rally how, how you would like to see done. some of that cleaned up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. Sure. I mean, I think and that's the only one that, we don't use though. Can some of the stuff be put into money market funds? So you know, fidelity and otherwise. Or I know this is all starting to chop it up and maybe a night a nightmare for you, but are you thinking you want to invest more money in well, at these rates, it's yeah. real money. I mean, you take another half a million dollars, it's another 25 grand. It may even be worth for diversification purposes. Talk to the North Country and see what other options they may have for us. Sometimes they'll waive yeah. penalties and whatnot if you're sticking with them. And it may not hurt. I mean, if it's not too much work for you, not consolidating I'm it. I'm trying to just do as, as little bank statements as I have. No, that will that, that, no, that makes perfect sense. Any I mean, this is not is not a million dollars sitting there. Yeah, it may not be, but okay. Yeah, I mean, the answer is yes. If we can, that that doesn't make your life miserable to have okay all over this place, but it's it's real money now. We all, we could pack away at getting rid of some of these little accounts, like the rally day account, blah blah. Yeah, I don't know the right. record. The rest of this stuff looks like it's legit <clears throat> restoration fund. Or... That, yeah, but that's, that's funny. still very active. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the, rest, the rest of these look like they're all, yeah, yeah. They're, all they're all they're all right. real stuff. Anything else that jumps out of you? I don't see much myself. No. Okay. A lot of pages. So thank you for bringing <laughs> well, them out. A lot, of, <laughs> a lot of pages. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for giving us the tools we need for due diligence. Yeah. Whether or not we choose Trying to do to it. the auditors happy. You know? yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And thanking you for and thank you for trying to raise as much money in these markets as you can. Okay, so we probably ought to move on Let's because the now we're running tax. behind. And I did have a request okay. from a select board member that we move along quickly. <laughs> um, or or two. Okay. So we're done with the monthly financial reporting package. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Delinquent okay. tax. So now we're moving to the delinquent tax collector report, discussion of potential tax sale. So you have something to say? I okay. do. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we had 10 taxpayers that went to tax sale with Jim Barlow yeah. originally. Um, yeah. So four have not responded at all. I've heard nothing from four of them. Oh. Um, so they're definitely going. Uh, two paid most of their balance, but they didn't pay all of it. Oh. So it's not a huge amount left, but because they're still, they didn't pay what they're supposed to pay, they're still going to go. Yeah. Um, three taxpayers I have on payment plans. Yeah. And I did talk with Jim Barlow about that. And he said, um, he said, if they, if they don't follow the plan, because yeah. they're supposed to make their payment every month by the 10th. Yeah. And that's a set payment to get those balances paid off within 12 months. Right. Um, if they don't, then they go to tax sale next year. Yeah, because we're not gonna mess around with that. So, yeah, and one taxpayer paid in full. Okay, so he wants to know Mr. Barlow needs to be authorized to take the next steps. And my feeling is that we should take them all that have not paid all their balance, the tax sale. 
Okay. Even those who are on payment plans? Not payment no. plans. No. The the four that did not pay six. and the two that paid almost all, but not all. I think those six should definitely go to tax sale. Both okay. under two hundred dollars though. It sounds I know. Like it's gonna be but I feel like it should be fair. Like we started the process. Three years. Some of them were out three years yeah. ago yeah. because their property's not that valuable. Right. And, and they pay the legal expenses? Well, that's there's a whole thing. I'm like, did you read what I Awesome. There's a whole thing about how that works. Right. So now, it's a little tricky. So what? Sorry, I just read all day for you. I didn't want to like read it for you. Okay, we don't have to. So I can read this. Later. So, so in that case, what happens is so, some of these there is the cost, mm -hmm. but with the value of the property really low and the amount they owe really low, the costs aren't always captured in a tax sale. And secondly, somebody might not even buy the properties if they're so deteriorated in, in a poor condition or or their uh, mobile home on a on uh, on a leased piece of property. And then the town ends out having to having to buy that property at the tax sale and then has to either work with a with uh, continue to work with the property owner to pay off the taxes or they have to um sell uh, or the town takes over the mobile home and either destroys it, sends right. it away, or else sells it. That's a real, it's a real danger. It, it happens. It happens all the time. Yeah. Um, in my in my experience, we, we had a situation where we ended up selling the mobile home to someone else. Yeah. In another situation, we ended up having to tear down the mobile home. Yeah. And that was fairly, that was costly. But if you don't do that, right. you're sending a message to other people that, why well, bother yeah. well, well, paying my tax? And some people just, yeah. just not everybody, but just a few people who know how to do this sort of yeah, thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you yeah, have to set, yeah, it's a set precedent. Yeah, you follow through the process. Mm -hmm. So my recommendation would be to move ahead, oh, yeah. even if it's a small amount. I thought yeah. when I first looked at it, I saw it was under $200. Thank I said, you. you know, <laughs> but then I saw it was three years. I yeah. Said, yeah. You're right. You yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> and then I have I have one other question. So are we going to take a vote on that? Oh. Or just no, by consensus uh, yeah. authorize you to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I guess he allows it anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I just want to point it. out that um, my understanding of our discussion of our practice is that we don't post online information about property owners who uh, are in arrears or are going to tax sale, and and this was posted online. So uh, I I believe the way to handle it is by email to select board members. Isn't well, that what we decided? Newspaper, exactly. It's tough because it's historically prior to last year, uh -huh. at the entire report was constantly put on the website. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it can be, but you chose because, not. Uh, I believe we chose, chose not to do that. Public. It is it's going to be public to anyway. Sale, so it just yeah. starts to get yeah. very confusing. It's going to be advertised so, in the newspaper. Yeah. 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 Well, that was one reason. My why understanding we, of our, our decision earlier was that we were not going to put this stuff on, on the web. Is that right? That's what, yeah. Okay. It was, but uh, again, our thought was because once it's going to tax sale, it becomes a matter of public record. And but the kind of select board hadn't point. decided at the point that this was. We can was remove posted. the document. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Maybe you ought to have something in writing that says a policy from the select board relative to. Uh, that well, would actually. And then, any, and then every time, anytime you have a transition of employees, they could look back at that policy on tax mm -hmm. sales and, and making it public or not making it public. Is this much our fault for not? Doing that as it is their fault. Yeah, on. presumably it's in our minutes, but well, we're going to go back to the meeting that was on that minutes. Yep. Fine, that it's not yep. practical. Well, we always use the post. So yep. we, we probably yep. should do an adjustment to the policy yep. and outline exactly how yep. we want this. Yeah, to and put it in yeah. bold. That would be helpful. Okay. Oh, wait, I have one more question before you yep. go. Um, so we still have other people though that are on our tax sale, um, not the tax sale, but on the delinquent tax list that are out one year. Mm -hmm. So not the current year, but the year before last year. Mm -hmm. And how would you guys feel about me preparing a payment template, a payment agreement template and mailing them out to everybody that was not on the tax sale list, but is delinquent yeah. and saying, you know, I'd like to talk to you about getting on a payment plan and starting to get people Hell yeah. I think it's a great idea. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. It gives them a chance to get moving forward on this before it goes down the road too far. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And we've all we've done that before. Okay. Yeah. Proactive is yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lay down. Our delinquent taxes are way down. Yeah. It, that's right. They've ever been. I, I think. That, yeah. I agree. Well, since I've been on the board. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, great work. I'm going to be removing your letter to the select board as well because there are names. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Then I sound tired off. Thank you. 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 Thank For some reason I thought they would be here. Oh yeah, they don't have to be. <clears throat> uh, representative, I think. Yeah, I would think, you know. So we could um, about we it. could take this up again next meeting and invite them to come. Well, I just like uh, yeah, we could do that. I mean, what does this tell us? It tells us they put in two hundred and forty miles of fiber. They've got access to 240 miles of fiber and and 2,100 properties. Will be the advantage no, construction will be another 240. Oh. They've already done 200. Oh, 200. I saw 200 yeah. earlier when I agreed. 240 is what they want to do. By the end of the year, they will have done. Yeah. The... Have they, do we know if they've actually started functioning? They're not functioning that I know of. So even though they ran to these people's houses, there's no there's no Wi-Fi. That would wifi. be a good question no. for them. That's that's the one I had. Yeah. Okay. And I also want to know what they've got the towns here, but they haven't com have they completed one whole town yet? I'd just like to know that. Right. I'm curious so, about whether there's any functioning Wi-Fi in East Montpelier yet. You mean fiber? Yeah. Yeah. From them. From them. Yeah. Well, you wanna you wanna invite them to come next meeting, John? Well, I'm not a big inviter, but I guess, yeah, we would like to do that. Mm -hmm. Or at least add to some questions. Yeah. Right? I mean, they could send us a note, and, they, and well, I think it's just as well for them to come here. So that, we, we think of new questions when they answer. Yeah. Well, it's usually yeah. our um, representative. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Are, are they, do you think they're, they're not going to approach us for funding or anything? No, we already gave them our money. Right. I know, but still, they could come back this year and say, hey. They might. No, I doubt it, but I guess you could ask them that. Okay. They've added, that was they've got a lot of money. They've got 19 million that they got out of Vermont Community Broadband. That's a lot of money. 18 million has been received, expended, or obligated. Okay. Yeah. Oh, peace. Is that Christmas music? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Jeez. So you want to have Tom Fisher come in and I don't know what do you guys questions? think. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Those are good yeah. questions. Let's have Tom come in. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, so we reviewed the report. Update on town garage RFP. That's you and I, John. Wow. So we have been working with Thank you. uh what's your name? Kathleen. Kathleen, Kathleen Dent. Dent. We've met with her a couple times and we've developed an RFP. Uh, Andy Shapiro has been active with us okay. and we've pretty much finalized it. Um, I've read through it. It's it's fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought so. Andy's fine with it? Andy, though, the, the Andy has a lot of, com not so much comments in, but a lot of input in there. Yeah, Andy had a lot. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, several times. Is so. he fine with the current draft? Did, I believe he, he is. Because... Yeah, he he was more commenting on the list of where it would be sent, and also he was commenting on who yeah who we're sending it to because he was more just wanted to send a design, and then we all and Kathleen was thinking to send it to design build also. Okay, so and, was... and, and send it to engineering firms as well, just to yeah. give them a heads up because they may be interested in doing a civil part of it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Who who provided most of the input um, for this? Was it Guthrie? You all of us. All of us. So you guys came up and said we need eighty seven hundred and fifty square feet based on the size of it, and the number of trucks, the, the yeah, the base, the, the number, the piece of equipment, piece of equipment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Piece of equipment. Okay. Yeah, it's bigger than what we have because the one we have now can't hold. The trucks are getting so large with the plows okay. and everything. And this, yeah, so bigger. And this, bigger this is big enough for. Yeah, yeah, moving around. And yeah. and you know, there's nothing saying that whoever uh, wins the contract to do the design can't come back and say, 
you know, hey, maybe this ought to be a little bigger or this might want to be a little smaller. So they're going to sure. tailor it. This is generally what Guthrie so tells you to live with. How you came up with this? Yeah. Guthrie. We talked to Guthrie. So, so some of your... Not, I'm sorry, not an architect or... No, or no, 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 that's what we're going to hire. But we yeah. looked at other... Uh, Guthrie's gone around and looked at other... And we did too. Garages. Oh, and we did too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Measuring and... So some of the earlier discussion was about uh, station one and uh, whether to change its function at all. And if you, you guys well, that's, that's decided not to the, not leave the, that for another day. That's nothing to do with the RFP. I did talk to the fire station about what their needs were for the uh -huh. future. So, you know, that, that needs some work. They, they would like us out of there because we're taking up part of it with some arbor equipment yeah that they have the atp they want to store blah 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 so i had talked to the fire department a couple of times about it and they were going to bring it to the board about their future needs so okay but there's nothing that's really irrelevant to the rfp for our building because we don't really have room on the site to put more bays on for fire equipment mm -hmm. so that's going to have to be a separate discussion so is the idea yeah. that well would you remind me which town equipment is now stored in? Well, there's station one. I, we have some equipment in there. I can't okay. Remember okay. Is the idea that that equipment would get moved over yeah. into the new bigger yeah. garage? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then we'd give up that space. And okay. Then what they asked me about was whether they could put their ATV in there. I'm like, yeah, yeah. But we were also talking about your future needs. Mm -hmm. If you, you know, and they're like, well, blah, blah. So okay. we don't really know. Yeah. So, okay. Thank you. Anyway. I know you advertised this and you, and you put it out to the public, but. Yeah, well, any, but, any rough idea on how many or who may pick up this RFP to come? We don't know, but the thing is that advertising is kind of an important component of this yeah. whole thing. Where do you put it out, and then who's going to respond? And right. there is a there is a there is a there is a mechanism to put this on a state website. That's yeah. for contracts. Yeah, it's reviewed by and Kathleen was going to do that. Yeah. She's gonna put it out, and then we're gonna list our email. The name of it. <laughs> we're gonna list our emails as for responding and mm -hmm. the town. Yeah, I see. Well, that became a question. Right, that's a question. Because our policy states, once the deadline for bid proposals has passed, the town administrator is authorized to open the bids prior to the select board's review and approval in order to expedite the board's review. So yeah. that was a question I had in the latest email of yeah. that's what the policy states. This document is currently stating it goes to three individuals. Right. Well, I, it doesn't matter to me. It's just well, we, were, it, just, we need it, to be clear on it. When that policy was written, probably there wasn't a, there wasn't a, a, as much yeah. uh, Wi-Fi, <laughs> you know, and people didn't have the email capabilities and stuff like that. And, and it came. It wasn't that long ago. You know, you got these packets in the mail. Yeah. yeah. And, and it would send 10 packets and you right. pass them out to your team and to the select right. board. But um, but now since it can go to all these different groups, it, just to different areas, it'd be you know, people, the ones that are on the team, I think that maybe being it's appropriate. So what but we'd like to we would like to have it saved, have that material held somewhere though. And it, it shouldn't be held town. between us two. No, <laughs> yeah, the town that's why we well, it. No, I mean I have a folder on our network right. where all of right. these documents would be housed. But it would probably be you or someone in this office that would just take the general information and summarize it for each bid. There's no one else in this office other than me that does anything like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was clear. Just, well, we, we can respond to the question, but Kathleen was going to help us with that. Yes. Yeah, so, I, would, I would request that we ask Kathleen if she could help us some yeah, that information because yeah. I don't have capacity. Right no, now. she would. She was. She's willing to do that. I'm sorry. Right. Summarize yeah. the responses. Yeah. Is that what mm -hmm. we about? We have to have responses that yes. are standard uh -huh. across the board. Uh -huh. We can't have. And she's got a rating system, system that we, okay. we would be she's able to make. Out. Very good, clear yeah. criteria here. But right. the thing about this RFP is we're going to get it out the door ASAP because we want to have site visits November 20th. Mm -hmm. before snow was on right. the ground and, right so know, so that's how we were thinking okay. is there any approval process going forward or we just have we just send it out the select board needs to approve it but we can we can do that tonight we have it sure yeah i yeah. would put it on the website tomorrow create a very i mean what would go to times argus i'll have to see how quickly they could get it into the paper um but yeah things gonna be some of that too what about those? I'll have to touch base with her to see what she. Would yeah, do she'll do it on the on the state website. There's a state. Yeah, if she contacting website, be great. 
but I could send with Times Argus, it's short and sweet. Yeah. Like it's literally gonna yeah. be a yeah. the town has an RFP for this. Here's a link to our website. Yeah. Go get the information. Obviously, yeah. this isn't going into Times Argus. Right, right. right. It'd be very costly. And then what about the <laughs> shadow engineering firms? And then from there, it's how we want to communicate exactly. You know, it's well, we just got to get it out to the list, and then we're going to put the three email addresses. It'd be pretty easy just to email the, the different engineering firms if you want to do well, that. Andy sent me that sent that pared down list, mm -hmm. um, so I think I would use that list and okay. email again. It would be everybody would get the yeah. exact same email. Here's yeah. and, and do we have an architect be directing list? people through our website? Do we have an architect? That's list? what he sent you. The architect That's what oh, okay. pared okay. down. And then you have a you have a civil engineering list yeah. too. Um, he had only commented that the other list was a bit, it had kind of more that it wasn't quite the right skill set. So he created a list that was more fine tuned to the still skill set that we need for yeah. this purpose. Because he was kind of like, didn't like the design build firms that were. No, you, have a little, you don't have to buy control in that way. Yeah. Well, in the end, it's going to be public. Anyone can submit regardless. Right. So yeah. that's Great. what the approval Good. process is now. So yeah. you. Okay. Uh, Scott asked um, how many we would expect to get back, I guess, or how many would be, well, the Central Mossaw Waste Management District, we just did this. Yeah. We got four. Okay. Yeah. That's manageable. Two engineering firms, um, an arch architectural firm, and then, a, and then one firm that decided to do both engineering and architectural services and gave it one package, one cost. Because mm -hmm. we were looking at a lot of, a lot of civil engineering that had to be done before we could move ahead. Yeah. So we broke up the architectural part and the civil engineering part. Yeah. So we're hoping to get some. But so we took one. Yeah. So so we got one the, the one package where they came together. We we hired them. Yeah. We, we want some competition. Right. So what we're going to do because we didn't want to burden Gina with all this is John and I are going to try to meet with Kathleen and work with the responses. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. You yeah. So that's how we're approaching. Good. Okay. Thanks a yeah. lot. But we wanted Gina to get all the information sure. because we want to create a town. Folder yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Keep yeah. Well, it'll actually there will actually be a notice for this, yeah. similar to a select board meeting notice that's yeah. going to get posted right. in this office and for right. That's great. Same yeah. thing where everything else yeah. gets posted. Public. So. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. So I just have one question. Uh, there's a line in here saying the town is in the process of a completing a boundary line adjustment. Yeah. Is that has that been started? I don't believe it has. Okay. But we should do that. Okay. We're in a process. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we well, we got to talk to the zoning administrator about that. Right. Oh, maybe who else would would be planning and it, it wouldn't be the DRB? Can, no, zoning. I know, but I'm just thinking people. Well, just, someone's going to have to draw the new. Right. So that would be like HVC Chase or a firm of that nature. So, so, we so we're asking firm. them. Yeah. So that's included in the RFP. So no, no, we didn't put any. We just no. said it, we're working on it. Kathleen, we Kathleen wants. She thinks that needs to be resolved. It does. Be then, if it needs to be resolved, we need to talk with the zoning administrator about mm -hmm. what's the process for moving ahead with that. Yeah. And I, and good. why I mentioned the DRB is that there's folks on there that have gone through this before, so they know the process uh -huh. better probably than our zoning administrator. No, the DRB doesn't have to do a boundary a boundary adjustment. In fact, Bruce used to do this on his on. His own. The zoning administrator can approve a boundary. Yeah. Okay. Assessment. I so didn't know it. I didn't know if she knew the process. That's all. But you just look it up well, in the. Reading, in, right. She's, yeah. yeah. Okay. We can just look it up. So let's authorize the zoning administrator to uh, move ahead with the boundary adjustment while we're at it. We yeah. need. Yeah. So we need to understand what that means. Yeah, I don't know that she can. Again, when they come into this office, I've only seen this once in my time here. A map came in from a surveyor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That said we're altering a boundary line yeah. that permit request goes to the zoning administrator so right. the zoning administrator is not doing it the zoning right. administrator is reviewing it right and so I'm getting, it's allowing it to happen I'm guessing the select board needs to make the permit request yes the the yeah i mean i i, I so yeah. i don't this isn't something necessarily and frankly that can become a conflict in my opinion for the zoning administrator to be doing this this should be submitted to the zoning administrator for review. So the question okay. is, is there a firm that could... We'd have to get someone. Yeah. To do the survey. So authorize um, the town administrator to go ahead with hiring Chase and Chase to go out and go So ahead. I can call Chris Jarenkoff. 
And what do we tell them that we want to do with the boundary line adjustment? Really, what parameters? Boundary line adjusted so it's beyond just yeah. uh, I mean, it, 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 the new lot that the town garage zone will will encompass the uh, will the building will be enlarged to the boundary to be moved to allow the entire current building. Building and building. grounds to be on one lot with all set, with all setbacks included. It is right. right now, right? Right. It's no, not. No. It's not not right now. Yeah. Well, I guess it, I guess it is right now. It's a red line, right? Yeah. But isn't it? But we, we've got little we got little buildings right here. Yeah. And and that one right there, that's a building too. So they're encroaching on the one setbacks, yeah, towards that? building or something. It doesn't matter. And also, yeah. it just needs to be a discussion yeah. of where we want this boundary line adjustment to be. That's so what I was asking. We, yeah. you know, and we can stay out of the wetland. <laughs> well, yeah, stay out of the wetland on one hand and provide- The wetland doesn't encompass, matter. So I think encompass everything that's the there right now. And then yeah, we're going to push into the wetland and leave it in on the end of the lot. So I think this is where, <laughs> okay. if it's Chase and Chase that I reach out to, those that have been working on this project yeah. and are close to them. it, need to probably speak with them about- Yeah, I can meet with trying them. To or do John, that. I can meet with them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Yeah, it doesn't have to be moved that much. Because the last thing we want to do is move the line somewhere, and then when the architect's yeah, yeah. design firm comes in, yeah. and we're still outside of yeah. that line. Yeah. <laughs> so if you could just yeah. reach out to them, we can meet with them. Yeah, ASAP. Got it. You're looking at me? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the map. It's right beyond you. Yeah. <laughs> So I move to authorize the town administrator to release the request for proposals for architectural, architectural and engineering services for a town highway garage uh, for bidding by qualified firms. Is that about how it should be written? Word Close is? enough. Sure. I'll second it. Great. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, now we don't need a motion for the uh, chase and chase phone call, do we? No, no. So. we're not spending any money. No, well, I, I hope we spend money for them. We will eventually. Uh, yeah, that's it. Got enough, enough for a phone call. Yeah, yeah. If we do, we spend money for. Now we could get somebody else too, but I, you know, I don't know. I, I mean, I it's hard to find people now. Yeah, I by consent, by consensus, we're authorizing moving forward. Yeah, boundary line yeah, adjustment. Somebody yeah. else. Okay. Um, I, Chase and Chase I, is I, the one I've had other surveyors work for me in the past. But, I have to. Yeah. But Chase and Chase has been working for the town, so hopefully they can do it. Okay. Um. So the next item on the agenda is update on July storm damage and FEMA reimbursement. This I think is this is really data. quick. It's just continuing i meet with fema on a weekly <laughs> basis um working through going going through all of guthrie's notes um we i did submit everything for the first project which is the emergency protective measures that is basically the work that was essentially done kind of the night of the flood and into the next morning um in addition to the work on sodom Hall and sparrow farm road and then we have a total of 10 projects under this FEMA event for the July flood. And I'm working through all of them. Very good. Oh, so what's the circle? Is that going to be how much longer? No, that we have to find an engineer for. So a watch. Next year. Okay. And right now, to your point, one firm has responded back to me for that inquiry. So okay. What Thank I'm you. hearing is I don't have time. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so the next item is consideration of town office network cabling quote. So this is to try to eliminate all the dragging lines that we have in every Where? office Where? within this office, um, every workspace. So this is to actually create receptacles and receptacles on the wall that the lines would feed into instead of all of us that have lines running all over our floor with switches um, to connect our devices. The other piece with this is to run, and this is something I need select board approval because this would be going through the floor of this meeting room, is to add 
receptacle, one for networking cables to the center of the meeting room. In addition, I would call an electrician to come and have an electrical outlet as well, because then we can eliminate the cords that mm. extend from the wall. Yeah, nice. So this is really something in working with RB Tech what we have now is it's not great for a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. Number one is trip hazards. Number two, when there is an issue, we literally just have holes drilled through the wall and a cord has been pulled through it, plugged into a switch that a whole bunch of cords are plugged into mm -hmm. to then power all of our, our network devices in the office. So if we have an issue, it's tough to troubleshoot. It's a lot harder to deal with. So this just kind of modernizes the building some and will make this a lot more efficient. And I love the safety factor we could get in this room with this process. Yeah. Does it make sense when we put in new electrical outlets to have built-in USB outlets in them as well? Seems like that's becoming more standard. Um, I'm not sure. I've never seen that in a floor. I've seen it in a wall floor, floor but... Um, you know, I mean, either way with, I mean, we'd probably still have a surge protector coming up through that outlet and mm -hmm. most all my surge protectors home have the USB. I actually prefer that yeah. um, than the wall uh -huh. personally. But. Yeah, I, I, I like this. I have seen in other work, the importance of having maps of how things are connected That's together. That's the other problem. So I, I would ask that the contractor also having done the work then do us an as-built drawing so we can get an overview of what's connected. Well, to what. it's going to be very clear. It's going to go down to a labeled, right. basically, cool. box in the uh -huh. in the basement of all the lines that are coming in. That's part of the point of this. So it's going to be right now down. RV Tech. Yeah. yeah, RV Tech. It's again, it's these single lines going everywhere. You're just trying to trace it through and figure out which one it is. It's yeah, I just not know, know how hard that can be. Yeah, to... that's what we're trying to eliminate. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. And the money would come out of our. Maybe. I would use our. Uh, our yeah. Okay. Sales, total taxes. We're Wait, the taxes would go away. Okay. That's yeah. just on the quote we haven't communicated. Okay. That's, That's just standard. Yeah. Okay. I actually okay. wrote it in the in the memo that the taxes would oh, obviously I, not. I, I would provide I, the I the, right. the necessary form okay. so the tax I, would be removed. I, yeah. I'd like to make a motion. Oh, to I see. Compromise. What's that? Go ahead, Zoe. I would like to make a motion to authorize Gina Jenkins accept a quote um, for using ARPA funds to pay for the new electrical wires. Network. Ne network cabling. Network cables. Plus an additional amount for an electrician to yeah. uh, add a floor receptacle to this room, yeah. correct? Okay. I haven't reached out to an electrician yet because number one, when I reach out to them, that's not something I'll get a quote for. They'll just yeah. come do it. Yeah. So. Yeah. It may not be practical, but um, we couldn't put it out for bid or it was, there's no competition. It's below a value. Price. Yeah, it's below the value to do it, number one. And number two, this vendor came to us through RV Tech. Who walked around with this vendor to actually do the specifications? Mm -hmm. This is actually this is actually the exact price I retech estimated that it would be before the quote came in. Usually, it was actually with someone that did not engage with the contractor. Just so you know, it was a person that did our phone system. Okay, He actually wasn't involved in the process of getting the quote. Okay, I second the motion. Uh so any more discussion? Who is it saying? The week after three people. No, I don't think so. Okay. Just from experience lately, reaching out to three people usually yields you one result. Back. Well, I know but it's really hard to get so. people, but at least they didn't take in. You know what I mean? So, so sure. case of it, you're just going to do the I uh, and yeah. thing, but I think you're the I and piece. really, yeah. this is below oh, yeah. this is below the policy requiring yeah, yeah. any kind of additional bid. Sounds good. Even any further discussion? All the favor, please shout out. All right. So, I appear to have it if you have it. Oh, oh, yeah. so, oh, we are? Okay, consideration of invitation for Vermont 250th anniversary resolution. So we've got I'll make, I'll make, I'll make a motion. <laughs> yeah, okay, make a motion. Need to be discussed. Sure. 
after it does after it, yes. depending on what action yes like what what is it that you're motion like what are we doing yeah exactly okay so i read through the stuff but so okay. the the um you know Ugh. what do you call it the template uh the example mm -hmm. motion would say that we would authorize such and such committee we don't have a committee at this point so the decision we need to make tonight as i see it is do we want to go forward reach out to the historical society i think you put that in the um annotated agenda uh, and others and see if they want to be part of this and and uh i'd say the governor has has set a goal of having all the towns and cities in vermont participate in this and i don't see why we should be an exception i talked to uh, sandal kate uh, the historical society and she said she didn't know anything about it but um you know she likes that sort of thing and uh, would like to be would like to find out more about it so i think the historical society is probably the yeah. The logical yeah. one to start with. Yeah. yeah. And maybe yeah. we can allocate the $628 from the rally fund for this in the future. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, no. Then, then we have probably. to keep it on the books in a separate account. <laughs> yeah, but we don't really know if it's going to be expense. Yeah. What's the expense? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you have a celebration, anyway. Oh, it's state of faith for it. There yeah. you go. So yeah, I'd, I'd keep that the, the rich, The rich state. <laughs> So I, I don't know. We need a motion, but if we're well, okay by consensus, discuss. ask the town administrator to reach out to the historical society and uh, determine next steps. Okay, so then, then we're going to establish a committee. We're in, in in principle willing to fill out that form and pass the resolution in the future once we get players identified. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, we don't need a lot of discussion. What's that? We didn't need a lot of discussion. I'm no. happy to reach out to the historical society. But we don't really have a motion. Wait, wait. What's oh, that? Oh, What's that? I'm just happy to reach out to the historical society to take something off Gina's plate. There you go. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Our Thank time, you. Our time administrator thanks you. Obviously, yeah. on behalf of her. <laughs> I thank, thank you. But... Oh, I know that. I just, you're writing. I'm just trying to take an extra load off of you to thank our esteemed select board members so we don't really have enough information to make the resolution no this, no. Sounds, like, yeah. this sounds pretty preliminary yeah. yes okay sounds good so the next item is consideration of letter support for painful co-op uh the head of the co-op or let's see who is that who is the head the director? Yeah, I think it's the director. Sent me an email and asked if I could pass this on the select board. They're looking to get a grant and they just need a letter of support, which they already, which they wrote actually. They sent it to us. Do you have that letter? Yes. Yeah, yep. right here. Yeah, letter of support. Yeah. Do we need a motion for this? Do we do we know anything about um their they proposal to buy it? Yeah, tell, tell us they're, they're trying to buy it. Right? Yeah, but uh, what are they're, they planning to do with it? Are they going to close it down keep, right away, expand it? Leave no, it they're going to keep the hardware as it is. But uh -huh. they'll, they'll probably be getting more local food in okay. as they do at their location in Plainfield. Uh -huh. I think they're going to be giving up on that building. That building's really small. Yeah. So they'll have, um, it's just a better uh, location for them. It's bigger. Absolutely. And they'll have more room to to uh, so offer more food. On keeping the hardware section? Yeah. Yep, they're gonna keep the hardware section, and there will be yeah, that's valuable. More opportunities for local food to be sold yeah, there. That's great. They, they have to have boiled down to. And the greenhouse and stuff. I don't know what they're doing with the greenhouse. They didn't really say anything to me about that. Yeah. yeah. What's that? Yes. Yeah. 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 So I I think that they they're they're planning to keep the stuff they do have there, but it'll be a better selection of local stuff. Mm -hmm. is what they told me today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they're doing, but they're going to close the. I think so. That I mean, I used to sell them a lot of beef and stuff, and I used to go in there. It's pretty small, pretty yeah, tight. Yeah. yeah. So I believe that's going to be closed. Yeah. Or the exposure is going to Yeah. Mm. Sounds like a great idea to me. Okay. I mean, it's it's too bad that the Plainfield Village loses that you know, walkable grocery store there, but yeah, true. It's not our responsibility. Yeah, that is true. It's not exactly very successful. Yeah. No, it's had, it's it's had problems. Yeah. Yeah. Do we need a motion for this? I think we do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I make sure. a motion to uh, endorse or accept oh, yeah, this letter. Sign it. Somebody gonna... sign it or authorize. Authorize the town administrator to 
send well, the, these one, please, I like think I so. authorize the, the, uh, the chair. chair. Okay. The chair. To send the letter to the Vermont Housing and Conservation Board and the Rural Economic Development yeah. Initiative. Yeah. That's okay. just that's just what I was gonna say. Yeah, very good. So. so we have a second on that? I'll second it. Oh, we have a second. That's right. Any, any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Enthusiastically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um now we have the appointments. How do we skip ahead? How do no. we get ahead of ourselves so quick? Because um, we're just doing business now. Okay, very good. Uh appointment <laughs> zoning administrator. So let's see. So what's the uh what's the word here? <laughs> so to appoint Michaela Anger, she's ready to go. Has permit she needs to sign tomorrow. I'll Let's make a motion to um appoint the zoning administrator. Zoe? I think you need to say the name. Zoe, what's her last name? Michaela. 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 Oh. <laughs> Zoe. The hell I get right there. Hi, Zoe. Would you like to be? Hey, yes, right Michaela. 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 Ingert. 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 Okay. I think it's well, Ingert. it's not, not stated it? here. Are you challenged phonetically or what? Is it with that effective date today? Yeah. And remind me how Thank long the appointment is for? <laughs> the three year? So it be. It's a one year appointment. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be through June 30. Okay. Okay. It wasn't on, it's not on the website. That's what I've been reading. It's in the memo. You have to read in the memo. The, the, it's the like memo. memo. Oh, our memo. Our memo. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I was reading. Yeah. I was it's reading. It gives you some cute classes today. Okay. I was reading so, do we have a second for Scott's motion? Go on, Zoe. Go ahead. No. Okay. I'll second the motion. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you for saving me. Is your name Zoe or McKellen? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> any further discussion? I hope not. <laughs> All in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. Okay. All right. So, first front application 23 042 on the county road. Okay, that recently sold. So it's undeveloped at this point. Correct. Okay. No culvert. Drawing from Chase and Chase. No culvert needed. Mm -hmm. Guthrie has Guthrie signed up. a few times. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I move to approve permit 23042 for a curb cut. Except you have the original. It was there. Oh, this is it right here. So you, you can yeah. sign that. Oh, up. that's right. I second uh, my esteemed colleague's motion. Any further for discussion? Curb. All those in favor, please say aye. Uh, aye. aye. The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. I will sign here and pass it around. Yeah. Today is 11 6 2023. John, would you like to sign it before we pass sure, it around? Certainly. Thank you very much. There you go. Uh, third cut application warrants. They're right here. We also have the additional. Item. Oh yes, the do. no before quote. Here you go. The additional item. Let's see. We've got warrants, mm -hmm. which I've already signed. I move that to authorize, if I may, to authorize the town administrator to. Um, uh, accept the quote of a thousand forty seven fifty from no before diamond level cyber security training and to submit for reimbursement to VLCT. I'll second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have, they do have it. Okay. And that was out of business. The warrants are here. Thank you. And now right. administrative report. Who we have? Pretty short and sweet. Uh, oh. Except that the Board of Civil Authority decision, not decision, dated um, 
October 3rd, 2023 has been appealed by the landowner. So then Barlow has been notified basically we're just in a holding pattern until we receive information from the court. Okay. Yeah. And there were three zoning applications, not two, since the last meeting. Oh, yeah. Um, yep. Woodshed, what's the ADU conditions? ADU, accessory dwelling unit. Yeah. Yeah. Curb cut. And popular lately. Uh, November 20th, regular meeting date. Number four. Thank you. Very much. Um, may, may, maybe I misheard you or forgot. Uh, it says here two, there are three listed, but did you say there are yeah, actually four? Three. There were actually there are three. three. Okay. Three. I just didn't update the two. Got it. Okay. I'm going to bring that home with me. And is there, is there a reason that February 26th is highlighted in gray? Yeah. Oh, that was really just from the last meeting. I heard it's because February 19th is President's Day, so that's a pop. Right. Like, that's not the. Right. Yeah. Right, the January eighth is typical. Is, and three weekends are also off uh, there yeah. in gray. So I was trying to. Well, it was, in, there. it was in gray from last meeting. Uh -huh. just failed to remove the highlights. Got it. One. Got it. I get a look at that in my schedule. Well, I mean, I don't think we should hold it. Against I just want to understand it. I don't want to hold it against anybody. Okay. Wow, it's eight o'clock. I make a motion that uh, that we could possibly adjourn this meeting. I move to amend to stay here until eight thirty when we're supposed to be done. I think we should. I don't want to shirk our business. Then I'll see you next meeting. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Meeting man from Aqua <laughs> <Back of> Forum. <laughs> I'm here alone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you made the motion to adjourn. Yes. Is there a second? Second. Oh, there's a second. Any further? Oh, I don't want to say that. You don't have to do okay. anything. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Can you just adjourn without voting? Us? No, yes. Yeah, the yeah, chair, the chair can just adjourn the meeting. I think. Oh, can you adjourn? Cause...